Alright guys, Tactical Bear back again today. Hope you're enjoying your day so far. This is coming out hopefully just after day two of the Toronto Home Series conclude. So stay tuned, there'll be a video in a few hours time about morning time for you guys waking up in North America. Recapping all the action that may or may not have happened. Today though, we're going to talk about phase sibilance. So actually no longer phase sibilance. Removed off the phase academy squad for something he said on stream a couple of days ago. Interestingly then, as a result of this, he tries to get onto another team before the Toronto Home Series challenger side. Gets onto Haggy's team before getting told that he cannot compete at the Toronto Home Series this weekend because of what he said. Who knows whether this uh, extends to champs the rest of the season and future seasons. Who knows what's going to happen here but intrigued to hear your thoughts down below regardless on this issue. Like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you are new. So Crone at CDL Intel says this. Looks like Sibilance has been dropped from Phase Academy after using a homophobic slur on stream today. His Twitch channel has also disappeared. Definitely Twitch have been cracking down on this kind of language as of late and, you know, violating terms of service, all this kind of stuff. I'll play the clip for you guys on screen right now. I like the apples, you far more dick riders. T2P, <laughs> T2P dick riders. How you like them apples, huh? 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 <laughs> Oh, T2P, yeah. you got nothing on formal. Formal is so good, T2P. You're an AM. <laughs> I'm an I'm an AM, and you're in my stream. <laughs> Thanks for supporting me, you faggot. <laughs> you faggot. Nah. T2P no, dick rider. Like you dick rider. What's your problem, Tim? Shut up. So the context was that they were scrimming the Chicago Huntsman, a load of people came in the chat and you know, these cover people that just try and rile you up and uh, get some sort of reaction and of course Sibilance doesn't respond in the best way by any means and gives the reaction they were exactly wanting and well, it comes to this point. Now, some of the replies from Sibilance on Twitter here before he then does deliver an apology later on but given these replies, I think that you know, people are pretty um, pretty justified in thinking this apology that he gives that we're looking in a second is not exactly 100% truthful but yeah, so he says, if anybody who against me, you'll really got only yourself in this. Nah, I'm not in phase anymore. This gaming stuff was a waste of time anyway. You'll trip in if I'm gonna let some Huntsman fans get me. If you don't like me, then that's your problem. I'll never paint a perfect picture just for social media. I am who I am. I'll be back regardless. So screw you. I know who I am appreciate the support. Follows on with this, free agent for the event this weekend and champs, nobody is better than me in the am bracket so let me know. And then he comes out with my apology. Let's have a look at this one. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, I messed up, I shouldn't have said what I said and lost everything because of it. I'm aware that my words and actions are broadcasted to the world in a different way from most people considering the audience that follows me. I sincerely apologise to anyone who I may have offended today with what I said. My intention wasn't to offend any members of the LGBTQ community. I got caught up in chat trying to cause drama in the middle of our scrim versus the Chicago Huntsman should be an E and something I shouldn't have. I hope to move past this and learn from my experience. I'm sorry again to FaZe, the community, and for letting everyone who supported me down. I will be back. And yeah, yeah definitely some more from this. So my FaZe team would have won champs. Um, you know, who should I team with? Loki thinking Haggy's team, maybe Spart's team. And then, well, so Haggy is uh, in the DMs here trying to get this figured out, brother. No time to waste. Welcome to the team. We are winning champs. And we'll have a look at some of the responses to this and, well, the developments over the last couple of days from that one as well. However, then we get this situation where Clayster is talking about some of the hypocrisy which seems to be present given that, well, Sibilance is treated in this way being an amateur player, but then in previous seasons, professional players have said similar things and haven't got the same outcome. Now, certainly I think FaZe are justified in making this decision to remove him off the squad. Like if they want to, of course, they don't want to look like they're associated with this kind of language and this kind of behavior and seem to be endorsing it to some degree. So look, certainly that can be Sibilance's punishment in this case. Hopefully though, he does get an opportunity to like look back on himself and improve as a person, improve as an individual into the future. If you guys remember the Pharaoh situation that happened a few years ago, that clip came out of him saying the N-word on stream and that's pretty much haunted him for a number of years and to be fair, for good reason, um, you know, he wasn't able to join a, a teams for a number of seasons now and as the start of this season, people didn't really want to pick him up until Florida Mutineers finally did give him a chance. I think it's great that he's had that opportunity to reflect on himself and become a better person and now the opportunity for his talent to actually be displayed on the highest stage. Hopefully the same thing will be available with Sibilance, but as we're looking in a second, it doesn't exactly look like it might be possible for him to even compete for the rest of the season, and who knows about next season, and we'll look at exactly why Patty P thinks that might be with the switch to the CDL this season, instead of the CWL, slightly less professional, not of course franchised, that we've seen in previous seasons. 
McLeister's opinion is as follows. Weird how things work. An amateur playing Chicago can use a word when he's heated at the toxicity he's getting in the chat and get dropped from his team, but a pro can call another pro the same word on stream last year and nobody cares. Cancel culture is whack. People make mistakes. I'm not defending the usage of any of the slurs. I'm trying to talk about the consequences that follow. I just don't think someone's entire career should be thrown away because of a verbal mistake, especially younger people. Needs to be about educating, not cancelling. Now, what Cleese is talking about here is a couple of incidents that have happened over the last few years. I mean, he's talking in specific about one incident we're looking at in a second, but, um, you know, this clip I found is not actually a clip. For some reason, the clips have, well, understandably, the clips have been deleted and erased off the internet entirely. But this was a clip at the time from a year or so ago of NATO, that Saints dropping the like, hard end bomb on stream. And then the one that Cleese is really talking about is this one from Jacob. So Jacob said on stream, like, you know, he called Clayster the F bomb, I suppose, that different F bomb. And, um, well, Jacob says, I want to apologize for something I said the other day I let my emotions get the best of me in the moment and used a homophobic slur this is unacceptable behavior for me and does not reflect my values as a person I'm sorry for the language I used and it will not happen again and fair play to Jacob it has not happened again and you can see Nameless's reply to this one I forgive you brother we all make mistakes so definitely I think this is kind of what Clayster is getting at here the fact that Sibilance immediately gets dropped from his team and looks like he won't be able to play Toronto Home Series uh, challenges of course and maybe champs as well and who knows what his career lies from there like does anyone want to be associated with this player given what he said. However, Clayster's kind of saying that looking back on this situation last year when it happened to Jacob, certainly Jacob was getting some criticism and of course for good reason, right? But there's people like Nameless and other people in the scene saying at the time, like, you know, fair play, like, I forgive you, um, you know, you'll get better from this, we all make mistakes. This kind of attitude that maybe Sibilance isn't getting that pass, right? And I suppose the question is, let's say if this was completely the other way around, I'm not saying it would be, like, let's say it was Scump on stream instead of Sibilance saying the similar thing. These kind of things happen from time to time. There's a lot of very high profile people like you know PewDiePie comes to mind, Sadakiss comes to mind, I'm sure there's some other ones that you guys can think of that say things on stream that they really shouldn't be saying and uh, well they you know they deliver apologies and eventually they come back to a point where they're still getting hired and well in Sadakiss case and of course PewDiePie has gone on to be the most successful YouTuber of all time once again after that clip um, playing PUBG a few years ago which you guys might remember. So definitely that's happened to very high profile people and if you imagine like it was one of the really high profile CWL players or CDL players that said something like this on stream, let's say it was Scump for purposes of explanation, do you think the Huntsman are just going to drop him off the team and he goes to the sidelines and never seen again in competitive Call of Duty, CDL get rid of him, cut all ties, something like that? I think that's pretty doubtful frankly and um, I'm sure the Huntsman and the CDL would find a way to you know give some sort of apology and issue an apology, maybe you'd make a video or something like that to that effect but of course like different levels of players, different um, characters of personalities suddenly get some more leeway and stuff like that so that's not a perfect uh, analogy by any means but still maybe you could look at the fact that in previous seasons this kind of has been the response from Nameless and others in the community and then this season we see somewhat of a different response. Now Panny P has, um, has an opinion on this, the fact that this season it's the CDL right and Mutex I think earlier this year, I, I think maybe he said like autistic or I forget exactly what it was but uh, you know maybe when he got kicked back in November time from the Dallas Empire squad, I agree cancel culture is lame but I think the CDL is a different standard and rules are pretty much the same for everyone now. So I certainly understand if FaZe Academy want to, you know, cut ties. But, um, you know, I do find it interesting that the CDL apparently, as we're looking in just a second here, this, um, well, this, uh, let's look at it right now, from Parasite saying Sib cannot play the Toronto Home Series due to the incident that occurred on stream yesterday, which forces to get a different fifth unlucky now um you know it seems like the cdl is then saying well okay you're not allowed to play due to what happened on stream we don't want to be associated with you which is interesting i can understand this if it happened to like a professional player on a professional team but um given it's an amateur player in the challenger side i didn't think they'd necessarily cut down on that as strong but as paddy b says like maybe that is the case and anything cdl related now is now super you know strictly cut down upon and you know even throwaway words on stream which definitely you shouldn't be saying and now getting serious punishment which maybe is totally fair enough or maybe it's going a little bit too far. I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And Pristini does some replies to Sibilance yesterday. Bro, I don't even like know you that well, but um, it definitely isn't a waste. So this is talking about like the, the waste, uh, you know, waste of Call of Duty tweet that we looked at a second ago. You have way more talent than most gamers. I know I talked a lot of trash in game. It's just who I am, but I never mean any of this. You are way too good to be doing all of this. Learn from it and better yourself. I used to be like you, didn't care. You remind me a lot of myself when I was 18. All of it, all it takes is some experience like this to learn from. I I hope you don't take this the wrong way neither. You're too talented at COD for all this head up just being real. So, you know, kind of a similar response to Pristini with the similar situation that we've seen some others, uh, well, talking about the Jacob stuff last season. Intrigued to hear your thoughts down below.
Just to finish off the video then, thought this was uh, on a little bit of a more light-hearted note. Crim6 tweets this out, so the score esports, you guys might know that channel, like 1.3 million subscribers or something, does a lot of esports content over there. A lot of the um, the titles are pretty sensationalized in terms of the storyline. And this one comes out, Talk Trash, Win Games, Cods, Toxic God, and his Search for Redemption. I saw this without the thumbnail, and I actually thought this was about Parasite, which would make more sense in my opinion. But it's Crim6 tweets it out, they did some interviews with him and stuff like that. And then we get some pretty entertaining replies. LMAO brother as, as says Aches, please do not let toxic gods be a thing. Kenny says, should have heard him today. He's definitely making it a thing. Full Master said, screw the king. I'm going to be a god. So, um, you know, obviously the Crimson Scum drama earlier this season saying like, you know, I'm going to one up the king and become the toxic gods. And uh, as then Looney says to finish off the thread, Crim is too soft to be a toxic god. Thanks for watching the video as always, guys. Like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new as always. I will see you next time. If you and Benny were on the same team, we would be in the ultra si That guy just fucking fried. <laughs> Yo! Wait, he grappled over red! Oh no, dude.